Just a quick disclaimer before we get into this video, I'm never going to recommend that you buy a lot of packs or spend a lot of coins on one or two cards. That's not going to be my recommendation for you. What these Mod Weekly episodes are for is to show you if a card's going for a lot of coins, how they play, if they're worth what they're going for. And then I have some recommendations for you as well of what you can do. I go over those things usually in the intro or throughout the gameplay. So that's it for this. Let's get into the video. What's good, everybody, and welcome to Mutt Weekly, episode three. If you're new to Mutt Weekly, what the series is about is essentially we pick up some of the new cards that came out from that past week. So it can be from the Legends promo, it can be from Team of the Week, it can be from some of the new promos that maybe be out during that time period. It can be from the Limiteds that came out on Thursday. It can be from any period, essentially. Whatever came out from that past week, that's what we try to pick up for you guys. So this week, we actually have a, a pretty expensive week. We have two of the limiteds that came out on Thursday. We're using Jamal Adams and we're using Denzel Ward. So we're not picking up Aaron Rodgers. And the reason for that is I don't recommend that you get Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers does not get some of the top tier abilities that I feel are really important, like Hot Round Master or Set Feet Lead and doesn't even get Escape Artist yet. But I don't recommend getting Aaron Rodgers. Now for Denzel Ward, Denzel Ward, you could just power up Denzel Ward to the top level without getting the new limited. And it's still going to be a really good card. So I don't recommend getting Denzel Ward either. And then Jamal Adams, Definitely a good card. However, there's other really good safeties out there. So I don't recommend you spend that top tier coin on them, but we're gonna be showing you two of them today. And then we have two legends that came out this weekend. Also pretty expensive cards. We have Lawrence Taylor, we have Reggie Wayne. Both gonna be really effective cards, but again, high tier coins. So we're gonna be going over all four. We'll go over their stats and their grades. Like usual, we've talked about that before. We're gonna go over their grades, their stats, how they played. If I recommend that you get them. Now I'm already saying, I don't really recommend that you get them. But again, if you have the extra coin, I will tell you if it's worth it. So that's what we usually do for this series. Now let's just take a look over here at the lineup. But before we do that, I want to go over just one quick thing for you all. I want to ask if you all enjoy this series to please hit that like button for me and please comment. So I've done this before. I really like to do this because I feel like it's a good interaction between me and you. If you all want to comment, if you have any questions, anything like that, I'm going to try to answer every single comment today. I'm gonna do my best. I haven't been able to do it yet, but I've tried. And that's all that matters, right? I've given it my best. So if you all wanna to comment today, I'm gonna to try to answer it. Again, if you could hit that like button for me, really gonna help me out. Let's go look at the lineup. So on offense, we haven't made too many changes. We still have Lamar Jackson as our QB. Bo Jackson as our running back. We did pick up Reggie Wayne, as we mentioned. We still have Brandon Cooks as our wide receiver number one. Now something we did do is we did pick up a wide receiver number four and five. The reason for this is bench press. That's a new popular ability that people are using, which can make your receivers tired. The zone version of that's gonna be chuck out. If they get a good press or they press you, they're gonna make your receivers a little bit tired. So you need some subs that you feel comfortable going to, right? Not necessarily every play. They don't have to be a top tier receiver that you have to go to every single play. Just someone you're comfortable putting in the game for a play here, a couple plays there, and just someone you just feel comfortable going to. So I have Tyree Kill here, and then we have Mark Clayton as our fifth, and then we, I didn't mention we had Julio Jones as our second. I just feel it's important to have a, at least a couple backups that you feel comfortable going to, and you can find some more success against bench press or check out if people are using that against you. And we have Jermichael Finley as our tight end still. O-line hasn't really changed at all either, and we're still using Shaker. We're still using Shaker. We have 25 out of 40, which is gonna give you that plus one speed. I'm still leaning towards going to a um, 40 out of 40 sprinter, which is gonna give you two speed. I still have to work my words towards that, but I still think that might be a little bit better, especially as change of direction becomes higher and higher as these overalls continue to go up. Going over to the abilities here, they haven't changed too much. Something I am doing though, is I'm using a running back ability now. So looking at Bo Jackson, we're using backfield mismatch. Man to man, still a pretty popular thing for people to go to. Allowing your running back to beat linebackers in coverage is gonna be pretty successful for you. So this is another element to the offense. Reggie Wayne, we're using route technician. Leo Jones, we have route technician and outside apprentice. So Michael Finley, mid and elite, tight end apprentice. That mid and elite really comes in handy for like posts going across the middle. And Lamar Jackson, we don't have any abilities just using bazooka. So if we get that uh, X factor activated, we can throw the ball a little bit further downfield. So just slight changes on the uh, offensive abilities, nothing major. Defensively, not too many pickups here as well. The only one that we will mention is Lawrence Taylor, who we did get uh, for this uh, my weekly episode. We have Jamal Adams. The uh, rest of the safeties are the same. We have Adrian Wilson still, Steve Atwater, John Lynch. We picked up Denzel Ward, as we mentioned as well. We're going to be seeing if these cards are worth their coin, seeing how they play. I have used Denzel Ward and Jamal Adams. I have not used Taylor or Reggie Wayne yet. In my opinion, Ward, again, I already mentioned this, but just power power up to the top tier without using that last limited card. You can do the same thing for Jamal Adams. They're still going to play well. They, have, they, of course, might lose a couple stats, but it won't be anything too major. But again, we'll see if they're worth their coins after today's episode. Rob Woodson, Asante Samuel, Byron Jones, 
Miles Garrett. Now, the rest of the D-line outside of Miles Garrett doesn't really play much because we're going to be using Lawrence Taylor and Elvis Dumerville to re uh, rush off the edge. Junior Seau doesn't play a ton because I like to use my safety as a linebacker, but if they're using a lot of run, I might mix in Junior Seau as well. That's it for the defense. Now, I do want to go over the abilities here. Let me get back. I did change our abilities a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with abilities on defensive side of the ball. I'm still very at a loss here. I'm using one enforcer on Jamal Adams. We're using bench press, bench press and one step ahead on Denzel Ward. On Byron Jones, we're using the zone version of bench press, which is chuck out, as I mentioned. And then we're using acrobat and then acrobat on Asante Samuel. So still working through on defense. I don't know if I want the enforcer out there or not. I feel like the hit sticks do cause fumbles at opportune times. But again, they don't force them a ton. So something I'm still working through. One step ahead, sometimes I feel like it does a really nice job at guarding stuff in man-to-man. -man, and then other times, not as great. So again, I'm still working through it. I'll let you all know when I find something more, a little, a little more concrete of a combination that I like to use out there. I definitely think I like Acrobat at plus at 1 AP. And then Bench Press is pretty effective along with Chuck Out at 1 AP. Just because they make your opponent's receivers tire. And it only costs you one, right? So definitely something I like to use. Chargers offense, not changing there. Multiple defense, not changing there either. That's it for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go with game one. We have a lot of cards to go over today. So we're gonna be playing two, maybe three games. We'll see how long they take. We're just gonna do our best to show how they play, try to get some wins. Here we go. We're actually gonna be going up against Joker Kale. I believe last time I saw Joker was on a really long win streak. I'm not sure if they're still on it or not. We're also gonna be starting on defense and I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that considering we have three defensive players for this month weekly this episode. We gotta do our best. They're coming out of this gun cluster. I actually have not played this at all this year, at least that I can remember. So we'll see. We're gonna be trying to do our best to just try to get a feel out drive here. Oh, nice play. Really nice. Oh, really nice stop and go too. Nice play. Really nice play by Joker to start the game off. We're going to have to try to figure something out here. Okay, they have the verticals too. I forgot that it's kind of like bunching the way that they can motion out the verticals around. We got to be on top of this stuff. We're also putting contains out there now to make sure we keep Lamar in the pocket. Oh, they can motion the... They can motion the wheel out from both sides. Okay, okay, this formation is really good. They can motion the wheel from both sides. We gotta be ready for it all. Definitely not the start we wanted. That was a really easy drive for them. They dotted us all the way down the field. We did not do a good job that time of making them work. We have to answer back here. Then we're gonna have to figure out our defensive side. It looks like this could be a blitz here. I'm not sure. We'll just take our table route. That's, okay, they're gonna be blitzing. That's, that's where you don't see a ton of blitzing going on pretty much right now in Madden. It's a lot of coverage defense. So we're going to have to be ready for the for the, for the the blitzes here as well. Let's see if this read option is good. Though. I like to see early on in the game if the read option is going to be good. We'll let them set up the blitz, and then we'll do it. Okay, set up. Now we're running the read option. We got some space. We're definitely going to have some space with that read option today. I like that run. That's good to know. Now we're going to see how much pressure they can get. Oh, they, they can get a lot. They set a lot of people right there. Okay, we might have to blitz, we might have to block two people. I think I like this look here. We're blocking extra. No! No! That's on me. They have bench press. There's no way they don't have bench press because Julio Jones is there. I thought that was Brandon Cooks. If that was Brandon Cooks, it's an automatic touchdown pretty much. They must have bench press because Brandon Cooks was not in the game. And that's why we need the backup receivers. That's on me. Gotta watch that motion out. We are out every single time now. We're making sure we're watching both sides of it. Ah, another dot, another dot, another dot. We got to figure something out of here because we are not doing a great job on defense. There we go. That's what we needed. I like our defensive setup here. I have to watch Bo Jackson myself. I'm on Bo. I'm on ball. Nice read. Really nice read. Hit stick. Ooh, 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 big third down here. Gotta watch this drag here. Gotta watch this drag. That's fine. Send the spy. Oh, wow. I got a cross. No touchdown. Yes. Well, they took their three to go up two possessions. Definitely the smart play because now we have to answer back. We have not done much on offense yet. We have to find a way to answer. We should have Reggie Wayne outside here. We should have Reggie Wayne on the outside. We do. We needed that first down. We needed that first down. Bad. Just going back to the read option here. I want to get to the two-minute warning. That's what we need to do. This run defense is really good, too. This defense is really good. We could have a touchdown to Cooks right here. We could have a touchdown if we can pick up the blitz. We can. We should have Cooks. We should have Cooks. Oh, what a play from Rob Woodson. I thought for sure that was going to be a touchdown. We're definitely making sure to get our subs in this game, though, because if we don't get our subs in, bench press is going to make our receivers tired. We have to make our subs. We're looking for the streak on the outside. We got it. We got Brandon Cooks. They were shading down. We got Brandon Cooks. That's what we needed to get back in the game. Now we need to stop before half. No, oh, I got... I, I got stuck. I got stuck. Great tackle. I got stuck right there. We needed that, though. I like our defense right here. I really like our defense. I have to watch the running back myself. Can we make a play on it with Acrobat? Yes, Denzel Ward. I, I don't need the pick. We'll definitely take the incompletion. Big fourth and nine right here. I love our defense right here. I think this is going to be the best defense we can have. Oh, it got to the sidelines. Really nice. I thought we could get out there. Great dot. 
I like our defensive setup that we have going here, though. I really do. I just have to watch. We got that. We got that rod. Yes. All right. We needed that stop. We needed that stop. We were in some trouble. If we can get some points, though, we're going to be in better shape. This blitz with this man to man is very, very effective right now. We should have our slant, though. Yes, Tyreek. Out of bounds. I hope that's a first down. Yes. We're looking for Brandon Cooks on the streak again. We're going to have it. We have Brandon Cooks again. Yes. Yes, Brandon Cooks. I know this is a Reggie Wayne gameplay. I know. But Brandon Cooks is making the plays for us. We will make sure that Reggie Wayne makes some plays. They, I think Reggie Wayne already has one catch. But we'll make sure we get some plays. Let's go. We have to make sure we don't give any points before half. 36 seconds, only one timeout. We have to make sure no points before half. No, no getting out of bounds, anything like that. We have to contain. Keep everything in front. Here we go. Keeping everything in front. We have our 25-yard purples out there. That's okay. That is okay. Keep it in bounds. Perfect. I'm watching the running back right here on this angle route. That's fine. That's fine. We should have a play on it. Yes! Oh, we might have points. We might have a chance of points before half. This should be field goal range. That's field goal range. Yes! I'm going to be watching for Brandon Cooks here again. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. No mistakes. No mistakes. That's fine. We're just going to take our three. I did not want to make any mistakes right there. I'm fine with taking three. It's our ball at halftime. This is going to be a very big drive out of halftime. If we can get some points... Get, get a two-possession lead. Go, Bo! Go, Bo! Bo Jackson! I was going to say, if we can get a two-possession lead, we'll be in amazing shape. Well, Bo Jackson made it happen. Let's go! Now we have to play smart on our defense. We cannot allow anything to get past us. Keep everything in front. Make this drive take as long as we can make it. As long as possible. And we should be in a good spot. Watching anything they audible here. So I'm not really sure what they're going to. I'm watching anything going deep again. Just trying to keep everything in front. Jamal. Jamal had a chance right there. Not changing up our defense. We're just trying to keep everything in front. I'm watching this running back angle. I'll give up that drag. Let's go. Good shed. I'm really liking this defensive setup we have against this cluster here. Hopefully. Oh, no. I was going to say hopefully Bo Jackson did not get open over top. And they did. Ah, uh, great play. Great play. I was cross manning our safeties. And that's the perfect counter adjustment to it. Really nice play. We're going back to this read option right here. It's been effective for us this time. We're going to keep with Lamar. We've got some space. No hit sticks. No hit sticks. That's okay. It looks like they got out of the blitz that they were in, which is perfectly cool. Now we can just... Now we don't have to deal with the pressure as much. We just have to make sure this drive, we get some type of points. We're already on their side of the field, so I don't want to make any mistakes right here. We're actually looking for Reggie Wayne, depending on their user. We have Reggie. We have Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Nice. We're looking for our slant or our post right here. Either or. Not going to have it. Not going to have it. Don't want to make any mistakes. I'm definitely cool with going to the read option right here. I don't mind it. I want to make sure we don't get knocked out of field goal range. Now we're in a spot where I can pass, but if I don't have anything open, I can take a sack. Now, I just can't force anything right here. If I have to, if I, if I don't have to throw anything, I won't. I'm cool with it. We maybe, maybe could have thrown our team out there, but Reggie, but Reggie, but Reggie Wayne and no fumble. Yes, I, I don't want, I didn't want to force anything right there. I was okay with taking three. We'll take the first down and Reggie Wayne making a couple big plays here in this fourth quarter. I was, I'm happy. I'm happy Reggie Wayne's making this play. It's, it's a gameplay focused around Reggie Wayne. I'm happy. Big time plays in the fourth quarter. Same spot here. I don't want to force anything. If we have to take our field goal, we will. I'm going to try to throw Reggie on this curl though. I'm going to try it. Oh, Maybe not the smartest thing to do. I wanted to try to get Reggie Wade to touch down in this game. We'll take our three. Now, we just can't allow anything over top. I said that last drive, and we gave him a big touchdown. This time, we actually have to do it. We cannot give up a big touchdown. Maybe a hit stick. Ooh, I had a chance there with LT. This right side is mine here. I cannot I cannot give anything to the flats. Got the drag. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Nice read. Flat's mine again. I got to keep watching the flat. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh, what, what a play from Joker there. And I watch the running back here. Ooh, we might, we might have gave up a touchdown right there if they stayed one more second in the pocket. This is smart here. They're taking their three. That way they can save their timeouts. They can try to get a stop with as much time as possible and keeping all their timeouts. We need one first down. We're definitely starting this drive off with read option here. If we can get a first down on that, then great. If not, we'll pass the ball probably on third down. Same thing here. We're going right back to the read option. I allow them to time it up. That is not when you want to hike the ball. When they're running to the line, you do not want to hike it there. Now we have to pass. Hopefully we get some time in the pocket right here. I'm putting a streak on Cooks in case it's there. It's not going to be there. We didn't have anything. We didn't have anything. I didn't want to make a mistake. I wanted them to take their last time out. 
Great defense. They have a minute to get seven, though. We just have to keep everything in front. I didn't get my purples in there. You definitely want to be getting your purples in right here. That's fine, though. Inbounds. Yes, perfect. Again, we have our clouds. We have our purples out there. We have deep halves to make sure we don't give up anything over the top. Just keep everything in front of us. Make them throw inbounds. That's fine. We didn't change up anything right here. We're going with deep halves and purples. Anything that's inbounds is fine. That's inbounds. That's going to be the game. What a game to Joker. Awesome game. Brandon Cooks probably made the plays to win the game with those deep touchdowns. However, Reggie Wayne made some clutch plays too. We'll try to get some more passes to Wayne in the next one. We'll try to do more with our defensive players because we have three out there on the game too. Here we go with game two. Game one was super exciting. We're ready for another one. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on defense again. I definitely don't mind it. We didn't really make too many plays with our weekly players in the first one. They had some tackles. I think LT might have had a sack, but we didn't make too many plays. We're hoping to maybe get some picks with Denzel Ward, maybe some hit stick fumbles with Jamal Adams, and some, and some more sacks with LT. Starting off this game here, we're just going to try to see what our opponent likes to do. It's a little bit of a feel-out drive. Ooh, nice play, Todd Gurley. Good hit to Jamal Adams. Okay, all right, we're starting off well. Using that one out of five, we're working our way towards Avalanche. I like it. Where should we fill out our opponent on this drive? We don't know what they want to do. We don't know if they want to throw the ball deep, throw the ball short, whatever the case may be. We just got to try to figure it out. Now, if we can get his with Jamal Adams like that, I will definitely take it because, oh, wow, I just tripped. I just tripped. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm using it out there. I'm running into my own players. We got to get better. Come on. I haven't seen any deep crossers, deep corners, deep posts, or anything like that to put my curl flats on. 25. I missed it with Adrian Wilson. I missed it. Good read. Oh, no, I got stuck there. I got stuck there. Great read from our opponent on the last drive. Two on the last play, two. But we'll take that. Let's go, Doomerville. We get to see what Jamal Adams does in Crossman right here. I'm watching this deep crosser on this side. Ooh, what a laser. What a laser. Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams got beat right there. That's something you... What, you oh, I thought they caught that. I definitely thought they caught that. But do note, Jamal Adams got beat right there. That could have been, that's that's something to note that when you're, you don't want to spend a million coins on, right? You want your player to guard them. Now, I know it's not a coverage safety, but still, Jamal Adams got beat right there. Definitely note that. I definitely don't want to be telling you how good a player is or how not good a player is if they cost that much coins, right? Ooh, nice defense. Ooh, we might have Reggie, though. Ooh, that was really good defense. I don't want to just tell you, oh, Jamal Adams is amazing, and then you go spend a million coins and they're not amazing, right? I'm going to try to be as transparent as possible with all these players. I give them, I try to give them accurate grades on how effective they are. Really good defense from our opponent right there. That that did not look great for us, right? We, we didn't have much open. So we have to try to figure something out here. Maybe get Bo in the backfield. Nope. Ever post. Nice. Great job by our O-line holding up right there. Looking for Reggie on the outside right here. Not there. Nothing's there. Just roll, just roll. Ooh, we're going to have Reggie now. No, we're not. No, we are not. We are not going to have Reggie Wayne right there. Good throw, Kent. <laughs> that wasn't even close. That wasn't even close. Come on, Kent. Something that's changed from years past is that when they were stuck on the sidelines like that before, they usually would just sit there. You could throw the corner out. Now they typically go upfield, and I have to remember that because that definitely... I I forgot right, right there, and it led to a pick. So we have to make sure we're remembering. Don't just throw those sidelines. Try to keep them from going up. Maybe low ball it. Try different things. But if, they, if you let them go up the field, it could definitely be an interception. So... On the spy. Oh, Denzel Ward tried. Denzel Ward tried right there. Got Denzel Ward in man-to-man -man now. See how it works. Oh, I got a, I got a pass interference. That is completely on me. I was trying to get down to the drag, ran to the crosser. Watch the run. Watch the run. Jamal. Jamal had a chance. I got to watch this left side myself for any crossers. There it is. Let's go, LT with a force fumble. Oh, LT with a force fumble. We didn't get it. But we'll definitely take the sack fumble. That's another great play from LT. We got to have a better first drive than our last drive. Obviously, we didn't get any points on our first drive. That's not the goal. We have Reggie on the flat here. So we make someone miss. We'll take the yards. We have to do a little bit better job because we need some points before half. I'm hoping we can get Reggie on the sideline this time. We're doing the same thing we did before, but this time, hopefully it works. It didn't this time. Run, run, run. Oh, we didn't get away. Ideally here, hopefully we can get about half back. We just need to pick up half this so we can go for it on the fourth down. We've got our drag. There's the half. No, it's not. I still want to go for this. this we're going to go for it. It might not be the smartest play, but I want to go for it. Got a couple reads here going to the markers. Nothing's open. Uh-oh. We're going to have X. Yes, we're going to have X. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take our time out. We got to figure out a drive because we have not done a great job yet. But we have time here to figure it out. We might have Julio in the seam right here. Nope. Good user by them. Jermichael outside. 
Nice catch. Starting to move a little bit now. We're looking for our... Well, we have the, we have the wheel. Go, Bo. Out of bounds again. Out of bounds again. If we can get seven of this drop, I'm going to be in really... We're, we're going to be in really good shape. I don't want to make any mistakes right here, though. We'll just take our smoke screen. We'll just take our smoke screen. Go, Cooks. Go, Cooks. Out of bounds again. I don't want to make any mistakes because we need at least the three points. But if we can get seven... Ooh. We can slant our post right here. Slant our post. Great defense. That's great defense. No mistakes. Got the... Yes! Great job, Lamar, out of bounds. Yes. Just go and read option right here. We don't want to waste any time. Just go read option. That's fine. Third down right here. I'm going to take the time out. We have one chance in the end zone. Otherwise, we'll take our three. We're looking for Reggie in the seams. We have Reggie. We have Reggie. Yes, we got Reggie. Wait a touchdown. Yes. Okay, no more points before half. Our ball at halftime. Okay, now we have our 25-yard purples out there. We don't have any of the crossers, anything like that. Everyone's out there where they need to be. Again, just watching the sidelines, watching anything deep. Uh oh, they might have some coming back. They might have some. Wilson, Wilson, yes. Let's go. We have a chance of points before half here. Can we get in field goal range? We did, yes. Definitely a big turn of events before halftime. We struggled all half getting points. We were able to get a seven. Then we were able to get a three. Now it's our ball at half. We don't want to make any mistakes, but we also need to start putting the drive together because our opponents been making us work. Our opponents been doing a great job. We need to figure out a way to get up that two possessions and be in a good spot. Looking for this corner out from Finley here. We're probably going to have it. We're probably going to have it. Good job, Finley. I like that look there. So we're going same thing here. We're going same thing. We've got Reggie. We've got Reggie outside. We'll take our few yards. We're looking for our seams right here. We're going to have Reggie. We're going to have Reggie. 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 Reggie, wait. Let's go. I was a little bit. I was a little bit nervous there about that pass leak because I probably should have passed that outside. It worked out. Yes. Now we're in the same spot as last game. We have to keep everything in front of us. No easy reads downfield. Keep everything in front. Try to keep them in bounds. Watching the middle here. The middle's mine. I have this post here. Oh, nice. By the way, Jamal Adams got beaten coverage again. Jamal Adams might not be a coverage player like whatsoever. I know more of a hitter, but it's important to note those things because you can't always just be hitting, right? I'm pretty sure that was Jamal Adams out there. I want to note, I want to note everything. Lawrence Taylor, um, done a good job of shedding, but not a crazy good job. Not any better. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Lawrence is doing a better job than what we normally get. I don't know. We're still judging. We'll talk about it at the end of the video. Let's get back to the game, Kent. We have to watch out for any pressure right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I had a touchdown. I had a touchdown. I didn't make the read. Hopefully, we pick up this pressure right here. We didn't. We didn't. Great defense from our opponent. We got to punt the ball back. Same position as before here. We have to make sure not to give up any deep passes. And again, just keep everything in front. Uh, I'm sounding monotonous probably right here. But at the same time, you don't want to give up anything deep. Good tackle. I like our defense right here. I got stuck. That's okay. Oh, wow. I left that. Again, again, giving up deep passes. When I say don't give up the deep pass. I made sure not to take any of my deep blues off this time. We don't want to continue to give that up. Lawrence Taylor. All right, Lawrence Taylor's making some plays now. Lawrence Taylor's definitely making plays now. I love to see it. Nothing deep. Oh, no, we gave up the crosser. We gave up the crosser. I should have had my purples out there. I should have had the 25-yard purples. Anything on this left side is mine. I have this post. Look, look at Lawrence Taylor. Look at Lawrence Taylor. Let's go. We're playing the same exact defense here, just trying to keep everything in front. I'm watching this left side. Fine. That's fine. Let's go. I'm watching anything across the minute here. Any deep in routes, anything like that. Good knockout. Yes. And that's going to do it. GG's to both of our opponents. Both those games were fun, but you know what? We're on to game three. Here we go with game three. This is going to be a little bit longer video. If you all enjoy the longer videos, please let me know in the comment section. Usually we've been doing two for an episode, two full games. This one's going to be three games. Let me know what you all think. Let's get into the game. This looks like it could be man to man defense. Hopefully we can pick up any pressure. We have Brandon Cooks. We have Brandon Cooks. Let's go, Brandon Cooks. Oh, Brandon Cooks has made plays in this video. Brandon Cooks has made plays in this video. I'm not sure if Brandon Cooks is... I think Brandon Cooks is a little bit better than Reggie Wayne, just based off what I'm seeing. That plus one speed might make a little bit of a difference. Also, do note though that Brandon Cooks can't get slot apprentice. Brandon Cooks can get outside apprentice and route condition, but not slot apprentice. So if you need that, you have to go with Reggie Wayne. But I do think Cooks is a little bit better at this time. I'm hoping we can get some hit six with Jamal this game. Oh, I had a chance there and I missed it. I want to try to get some hit six with Jamal. Maybe force a fumble. That'd be pretty cool. I'm looking to shoot this gap right here. If we can do it, maybe we're going to hit six. No, it's not a run. It's not a run. Oh, John Lynch. What a play from John Lynch. I did not. I did not think that was the player that had a chance to pick it right there. We'll definitely take that. We could have Reggie Wayne going across the field right here. 
Reggie Wayne, Reggie Wayne, another touchdown for Reggie Wayne. Yes. Gotta watch this slant route right here. I think it's gonna be mesh post. Yep. Oh, Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward. That's we're gonna know things. We gotta know things. That was Denzel Ward with one step ahead. Got open on the post route. Definitely noted. Again, I just want to be as transparent as possible. I want you all to see everything that these players make. All these... Ooh, Lawrence Taylor again. All these pl all these plays that they make or don't make, I want you all to see it. The coin value, the coin value is so important. And that's going to do it. GG's to all of our opponents. I hope you enjoyed all the gameplays. Now let's take a look at their final stats and final grades. So as you can see, Reggie Wayne got an A, 151 yards. Three touchdowns, very close to an A+, plus, but what I didn't think was quite as good as Brandon Cook, so that's why it was an A. LT got an A+, plus, four sacks, one forced fumble. Now, I did play some games since then, and that's why it was an A+. Plus. Every time LT shed, very quick to the QB, great in pursuit. That's why it was an A+. Plus. Ward and Adams both got B+. Pluses. I said three plus tackles and four plus tackles because those are tough to track with stats, and I did not check in a couple of the games, so that one's on me, but they definitely had at least three and four, and they didn't have any forced turnovers, so... I didn't mark anything like that. that was, those were the main stats that they had. They both got B pluses. Again, I would say if you want to get those players, just power them up to one level before they're limited. That's what I would recommend. There's a lot of good safeties out there. And there's also some pretty good corners as well. I didn't think Ward was quite, quite as good as Byron Jones. But that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. That's three Moat Weeklies down. I'll see you all next time.